those wintry trees, I, I, I dry brush those things in. I use the kind of the fat side of my brush, the texture. I don't want to be doing that with these uh, these middle value washes that we're doing. They have a lot of paint in them, so they're middle value, but they're also very fluid because you want that bead. Okay, so there's still a lot of water in there, those puddles, and you're kind of working on a wet edge to try and take those wet puddles and do little scratchy uh, branches is almost impossible. I, I try and put those in and I have nothing but solid evergreens. So I have, I'm have i just waiting to put in those little um, dry branches and, and those smaller dry trees until later in the game um, with much thicker paint and a smaller brush. And by the way, the, the kind of the progression of the brushes I use for almost all my paintings, that first light wash, I've just got a couple of larger mops you know, um, it still has a little bit of a point on it because once in a while you might have a shape, a light shape that you have to paint around. But more often than not, those are only the larger white shapes that I'm worried about at that stage of the game. Any of that small stuff, I'll scratch out my fingernail or put it with gouache or something. Are those squirrel hair? They look yeah, kind of like squirrel. Yeah, the squirrel hair mop, yeah. Um, this, this silver one is a, is a blend. Of, all these <laughs> silver brushes are. Uh, well, they're a blend. They have some squirrel, but it's a synthetic blend, too, so they're cheaper, they last long, but they're still a nice big brush. Yeah. And, it, and like I said, they still hold enough of a point at that stage of the game, so if there's a big white shape I need to paint or I can do it. But I want to start, you know, I'm not worried about shape making too much little shapes at that stage of the game, so I can get away with a natural hair brush. I want it to hold a lot of water, and I'm mostly just painting big shapes. After that, I'll go back, probably still natural hair brushes, another one of those silver ones, the blend, and then, uh, then a sable brush, because uh, still, I still want it to hold a lot of water, uh, you know, so I have that wet edge, and, but a little smaller brush, because now I'm starting to find a few smaller shapes, okay? So your preference is always for rounds and mops? Yeah, I just, I learned with rounds, so I said, I mean, there's a lot of people that paint with flats, there's nothing wrong with that, I just, I like the rounds. Is that a yeah, it's a 16 year, and this is probably like a 12 sable. And then at the very end, then you can use the, the <laughs> synthetic brush, because I'm not worried about its water holding capabilities. I'm not painting big, now I'm starting to paint a horse, or window, or little branches and stuff. So I want a stiffer brush, but I'm not concerned about doing a big wash, so you can get away with a, a synthetic brush, but that has a nice point on it, because now I'm kind of drawing with a brush. So I start with those bigger mop brushes. I'm not worried about little shapes. They hold a lot of water. I'm usually just covering the paper with it. But this intermediate middle value wash, I still want to use a, a natural hair brush because it hold, it'll hold the water, but just a smaller version of it so I can have a point to you know, do some of this little finer work on. And at the very end, now I'm going to use a synthetic stiffer brush with a point to do little shapes. Okay? And you can get away with you know, four or five brushes. You don't need 40 brushes in there. Gear. Um, okay, so now when, I'm, when it comes time to putting my darks in, uh, I don't want to start by painting little 